one of the great challenges with the second season is the world just expanded enormously. And not only do we introduce a, a great number of new characters, but we're journeying to all new locations. It's really exciting. It's just, it's a chance. I think with most shows, you build your world and then you spend subsequent seasons more or less living in that office or in that neighborhood or in that city or whatever it is. And the challenge of this show is you constantly get to, to realize new places and you constantly get to round out the world and give a much greater sense of the, the complexity of the world the story takes place in. Mormon won't have it, but we're heading deeper and deeper into wildland territory. One of the things that we were most nervous about going into season one was there are so many characters and so many storylines and will an audience be able to follow them all? And so one of the things that we were really gratified about was to see that people did, you know, and people have become really invested in these characters and become more invested in their fates and become really worried about them. I have a royal warrant for one of these gutter rats you're transporting. They're looking for me. Game of Thrones is a show about universal human themes of power and family. It's about the ways that personal can influence the political and how the motivations of people who have power can change the face of countries and of worlds. This is a fantasy series, but that's not the key to the show. The key is the people. The characters that George created are so rich and so wonderful that it's just so many different ways to flesh them out and, and explore these templates that, that he's put down. You know, so many great character arcs and so many great characters and plot twists and, and reveals, and I think it's going to be um, an incredible journey for our, for our audience.